we need to do is start to figure out, especially for the next generation of kids, how to teach them to regulate their nervous system. We have to leverage the idea that being able to hear and listen hinges on the ability to be calm. And hearing and listening is crucial to our advancement as individuals and as groups. But the problem is everyone's been trying to do this backwards. They've said, we all have to get along. We have to cancel, cancel culture. We all have to, you know, listen to one another. And I think, again, we have to start from the inside. We have to teach it physiologically. Now, I don't have a master plan on how to do that. But one of the reasons I'm here and one of the reasons I'm teaching neuroscience on Instagram and not just in my laboratory is until we can learn to regulate the self, I don't think we're going to get where we want to go mm -hmm. as a culture. I think emotions are great. I experience them often intensely, but I think it's clear that the level of autonomic arousal that's associated with emotions, either very high or very low, very happy or very sad, very anxious or very angry, clouds our judgment. You know, we could get into a discussion about how social media marketing are designed to, you know, capture these very deep limbic aspects of ourselves, and they are. But what's amazing is, and important is that everybody has a forebrain. And we have this capacity for what we call top-down control, which is the ability to intervene in our own feeling states and our own action states, and to set some real clear marks that we're out to achieve. And I think it's gonna start with the, the generation that's very plastic right now. So I think we need to operationalize what we're gonna teach the next generation. You know, maybe our generation isn't really rescuable, mm -hmm. but maybe the next generation is. And if they understand that there's some concepts that sound a little mushy, like gratitude, mindfulness, or these kinds of things. But as long as they understand that, for instance, gratitude involves a whole other neurotransmitter reward system in the brain, the serotonin system, which buffers us against injury, it can improve wound repair, it can allow us to lean back into these high stress regimes. Learning, you know, kids learning how to toggle their nervous system back and forth between highly duration path outcome focused states of trying to improve and learn, and then learning how to really relax and chill out and enjoy and be socially connected because it will allow them to ratchet back in and focus with mm -hmm. extreme depth. I think in doing that, we might not get every child to learn how to do that. But if we can get that information out there, I really believe that at least a subset of those kids will grow up to be the leaders that our species really needs in order to get through this next filter.